Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Friday, it is Friday so it is weigh-in day. Way in right before Christmas, way in over the holidays. We're gonna talk about this week's WW workshop topic. I'm gonna to share with you how my week was and we're going to set some goals for next week. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a weigh in every Friday and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I cannot recommend this enough as well as one one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come join us there. We'd love to have you. So let's go ahead and jump in to my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. Hey friends, I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I cannot believe that Christmas is almost here. I actually feel really good. I'm in a good place when it comes to Christmas. I feel like I'm ready. I've done my baking. I We're not really doing a lot of gift exchanging. I've had a few parties. I feel like I'm in a good place for the holidays. But to be honest with you, I'm also really excited for the new year. Like I can't not wait for 2023. Speaking of 2023, Sunday, you're going to see my goals video and you're going to be shocked. My 2023 goals video will be out on Sunday. So I've been working really hard on putting that together and I can't wait to share that with you. I had a really good week this week. I did all of my workouts. In fact, I went to boot camp this morning. I have been so sore. Boot camp is killing me. And then I'm going to the gym and lifting really, really heavy weights on the days that I'm not at boot camp. So my body is just being put through the ringer, which isn't a bad thing. It's how you build lean muscle. It's how you become stronger and leaner and healthier. But I have been really sore, especially my feet, my legs have just been real sore. A few weeks ago in a What I Eat in a Day, I shared Bob and Brad's. They are these chiropractors here on YouTube. I'll link their channel down below for you. I shared their massage gun and I've been loving that. I've had Troy give me little massages every night to like help my muscles recover and recruit, recoup from working out. And I really fell in love with that massage gun. It's become a staple for us that I decided to go ahead and pick up their foot massager. Like I said, my feet hurt, my legs hurt, my whole body hurts. So I thought what better gift for my myself this holiday season than the Bob and Brad foot massager. So like I mentioned, I fell in love with the massage gun from Bob and Brad, so I decided to get their foot massager. This has heat, a remote, and it's an electric shiatsu deep kneading foot massager with four levels to help relieve plantar fasciitis, neuropathy pain, and it fits feet up to size 12. Now Troy's a size 12 and he can fit his feet in there perfectly. You can choose between low, medium, high, or max for the different settings. So you can keep the kneading feature turned off altogether, but the kneading does help improve blood circulation by lightly tightening and releasing your feet, stimulating blood to circulate throughout. Every massage is customizable, allowing you to choose between low, medium, and higher max intensity settings. I love that it has soothing heat for an added bonus. It adds another layer to the whole experience. You can sit back, pick, up, pick your preferred massage setting, turn the heat on, and get an at-home foot massage with heat, which is perfect for cold winter nights. It's a compact unit. It's really quiet. I'm going to insert a clip here. You can see how quiet it is. It has easy to use controls. There's no need to fumble for the remote or try to remember where you said it last time. The controls are conveniently located on the top of the device with easy to read labels. You can switch between kneading and shiatsu and control the intensity all with the click of a button. I will go ahead and link the Bob and Brad foot massager down in the description box. You can actually buy it right off of Amazon. I'll put all the discount information in the description box for you as well. Both Troy and I have been loving this. We've been using this on a regular basis. In fact, as soon as I'm done filming, I'm about to go use my foot massager. I will link it down below for you. It would make a great holiday gift, gift for yourself, gift for the new year, especially if fitness is one of your goals. So definitely check out the description box. I'll link the Bob and Brad foot massager down below for you. My food has been really good this week. My water has been really good. I actually have my water right here. 
I've been focused on focusing on next year's goals and really kind of getting my headspace, my heart, my mind, my soul ready for the new year because I have some pretty crazy goals in store for 2023. So I've really been trying to get started on those now rather than waiting until the first of the year. So overall, I feel like I had a really good week. And side note, just a reminder, if you've missed my weigh-in videos so far in December, my goal for December is to maintain, not gain. If I lose, fantastic, but my goal is to maintain my weight through the holidays. So before I jump into the weigh-in, let's talk about this week's WW workshop topic because it's an important one. It's one of the reasons I have a YouTube channel, that I'm a weight loss and nutrition coach, that I have a Facebook group, and that is for support. So today's topic is how to feel supported on your journey. Having support is so important. And we don't all have support in our day-to-day -day lives. Maybe our spouse isn't supportive, our family, our friends, our kids. Maybe we don't have that one-on-one -on -one support in our inner circle. So we need to be able to seek that support elsewhere. Here on YouTube, in my Facebook group, with coaching, I am here to support you every step of the way. Just think about running errands. They're a lot less daunting. They're a lot more fun when you actually run them with a friend. This is true for your weight loss journey as well. If you have someone to do it with, if you have someone you can support, they can support you, it makes it a little bit easier and definitely a lot more enjoyable. So here's some tips for WW on how to really embrace support for your journey. Try this, ask for food inspo. Whether your kid loves pizza or your partner has a sweet tooth, search our recipes in the WW app to make WWI's versions of their favorites. How about moving together? Catch up with friends on a walk or trade family screen time for a trip to the park or a bike ride. How about paying it forward? Paying it forward in life is important in so many ways. Find ways your new habits can help the person you picked. Maybe you meal prep an extra set of lunches or double your overnight oats recipe. You can also set an example. When you're dining out, suggest sharing a veggie packed appetizer or entree. How about talking it out? Be open about how your person can help you, like storing desserts out of sight or deciding how often you'll order takeout. These tips are really important, especially if you struggle for support in your inner circle. For example, if your spouse isn't supportive and they're sabotaging you by bringing in foods that don't work with your plan into the house. Having a conversation with them as to why those foods are not foods that you can have in your house is really beneficial and can maybe sway someone who's not so supportive to someone who's more supportive. But find a community, find a support system, whether that's with me, here on YouTube, with coaching, with your friends or your family. Support is so important. Fail to plan, plan to fail is a real thing. And this includes even with your support system. One thing I do like about Weight Watchers is that they offer in-person meetings. Now, granted, they've closed a lot of the studios, which is a little bit of a bummer, but if you have a studio in your area, it's a great support system. It's a way for you to have accountability. It's a great way for you to meet other like-minded people on a weight loss journey, and you can develop some really great friendships from those WW workshops. I know for me, that's how I discovered Jazzercise when I lived in Washington, and to this day, I still have friends that I met at my WW workshop, and today in real time, my boot camp girls, they're my new friends, and that is a support system that I have in place while getting healthy and losing weight. The people we spend time with are a big part of our environment and can be make or break it in our weight loss journey. Involving your friends and family in your journey is important. And for those people that maybe aren't so supportive, have a conversation with them. Let them know what you need from them. And chances are they'll be able to support you a little bit better if they know what your needs are. And make sure you share your journey, whether it's on Connect, on Instagram, on my Facebook group. I love hearing from you guys on how your journey is going. If if you have questions, if you need support, need guidance, those types of outlets are a great way for you to get that support. Our support doesn't have to come from people we know in real life. It doesn't have to come from our little inner circle. It can come from people on the internet. We're a great support system. We're a fun support system, and we're all here to help you reach your goals. All of this is really going to help make life a lot easier when it comes to losing weight. So I really like this topic, and I 100% agree with Weight Watchers that support is key to being successful. I know for me, having the support of my bootcamp group, having my husband's support, having you guys, you guys are my biggest support. I mean, I have to come 
come on here every Friday and share my weigh-in with you and tell you if I lost, if I gained. I share the foods that I'm eating every single week with you, my grocery hauls. You guys are my support and I am so thankful for you. You literally have no idea how important you are every single day to me and in every step of my journey. So make sure that you have a support system in place wherever that is. So now let's jump into my weigh-in. Like I said, goal for December, maintain, not gain. I feel like I had a really good week. I did have a Christmas party with my boot camp group. I enjoyed the party. I had a brownie. I had all the good food. Someone made this amazing tamale casserole. Best thing I've ever eaten. Guarantee it was not low calorie, low point, but it was so incredibly good. And I just had small amounts of everything. Enjoyed my time focused on my friends there and the gift exchange rather than the food, skipped the alcohol to save calories. I mean, I just navigated the holidays the best way that I could. And when I stepped on the scale, I actually lost weight again this week. I lost point eight. That is almost an entire pound. Nobody's going to complain about that, especially when my goal was to maintain. Now, like I said, I love seeing these little losses. It's really, really motivating to keep doing what I'm doing and making it through the holiday season successfully. I'll be happy with the maintain. I'm happy with a little bit of a loss. I will go ahead and pop up here on the screen my total weight loss so far. And this year is almost coming to an end. So it'll be interesting to see what my overall weight loss for 2022 was and what my overall weight loss will be on the final weigh-in of this year. So let me know down in the comments, how was your week? How are you navigating the holidays? And what are you doing for support? Remember how important support is. And don't forget to come join my Facebook group. Follow me on Instagram. I'm here for coaching. I'm here to support you, like I said, every step of the way. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not. I do a weigh-in every Friday and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, my Facebook group, my Instagram, and all of the links and discounts to my favorite things. I will also link the Bob and Brad foot massager. Cannot recommend enough. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Friday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye. Jingle bells ring.